And welcome everyone to Atlanta Motor Speedway for race number two of the truck series. Ryan Pitchard is on pole for today's race. Here are your full qualifying results. And we're getting ready for the race command. Here it is. Drivers, start your engines. All right, engines fired up. We are ready to race. Field is rolling off here. So technically this is our second super speedway race of the season. Or drafting track, whatever they call it now. Drafting track just sounds dumb. I mean, you could draft at any racetrack. But anyways, our second race coming here at Atlanta. Oh, that's uh, not a good camera angle. Very cloudy day here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Almost looks like a night race. So damn cloudy. I was about to say that tonight's race. Oh, hold on. I forgot something. I forgot the better cautions. I still forget. Still forget. So anyways, getting ready for the green using a slightly more updated Atlanta Motor Speedway with the uh, pit entry at the back straight away and hoping this provides a little bit better racing opposed to the other one I think that was just more for online man that's a pretty bad clipping issues with this camera angle because it's not too bad sort of but it is distracting green flag is out we're underway Really good launch for the 80. Ah, uh, he took off big time. Oh, trouble already! Already got several trucks crashing coming off turn two. That did not take long. Oh, god. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty bad, actually. Side by side. It will be. I think the five got it. Yep. Five at the line. All right, first caution of the day. Let's take a look at the replay. All right, let's take a look here. Ibrahim in the 36, getting in the uh, Bill Jones in the 14. Come to the left side, down across the 98, but was able to get through it and around they went. Couple of big hits, not too many trucks. I thought there was going to be a lot more, but just uh, several trucks were involved. Most of them were able to get through without a scratch. Let's uh, go on board with one of these drivers. Can we go with, uh, maybe not Pilch, maybe a 24. That was a 24. Cowden on the outside line. And I hate, just uh, he got hit by both of them, but not a, not really involved. There's the 11, 56 is in it, 2. There's a 16.03 as well, 29. So we'll go on board with the 36 now of Ibrahimen, our most recent champion. Yep, just going on the left side. Pretty big hit to the outside wall, too. Took another big hit on the 03. There he is. So first caution of the day. Not even a full lap completed. Already under yellow. We'll take you back to the restart. Alright, getting ready to go green here. 35 trucks just uh, left out on the racetrack. The 5 is our leader. Race truck is off. Here we go. The five of Nathan Orman leading us to the green. Green flag is out. Back on the way to 62. 
mega jump there. Cole Sampson. Don't think that'll be a penalty there. Or it could be. Man, he took really launched off the start. Oh, the 10 getting way too hot into the 5. Oh, careful coming back up the racetrack. 3 wide here. Still pretty aggressive. Almost four wide there. Couple of trucks in the wall. The one in the 23. Few drivers scattering. The 19's all the way down on the apron here. Careful not to enter pit road. And he misses it. Still in the apron, but he's maintaining his speed. He's got it under control. Doesn't come flying back up. The three, now up front, David Davison. Oh, now the 80's in the wall there. Oh, the 88. Several more others, and they're crashing, and then the 30 also goes around our leader for a brief moment. Side by side here, the 62 of Sampson. I think this is a much bigger wreck. Didn't see much of it, but the 62 of Samson will take the yellow flag. First or second caution of the day. Let's take a look at the replay. Alright, so the first wreck started with uh, the 98, Roberto Crown Jr. So, oh, we kind of like, maybe, uh, well. Okay, that was kind of weird. Looks like it just uh, bottomed out or something. Went up the racetrack, collected the 23, and whoa! What was that? The 33 and the 14. Uh, collided there. Oh, no, the 14 thing hit somebody else. It was a 54, not the 33. Hits the outside wall and the truck smokes. He's done for the day. Wow, kind of an awkward wreck there for the 14 of Bill Jones. And then we had more wrecking with the 30 of Mark Knight, who was the leader for about a couple of seconds. The uh, 9 was on his back end, tried to get underneath. Hits the inside wall. Bounces off, cuts across the 9, so they almost saved it, but back across into the field, the 0-1, the 4, big hit there from the 5, close call there for the 6 and 19, so they all pile in and turn 3, and then there was more of the 18, hard impact, and then the 21, into the 14 of Jones, Jones upside down, the 54 almost upside down, a lot of destroyed race trucks there. Only had two retirees, a last caution. Gonna have a lot more. It's 21, no brakes or something. Arca brakes on that truck. Right on top of the 54, but he got saved. The 29 and the 23. Yeah, this is a pretty bad spot because that's the new entry to Pit Road, and these guys are trying to come in, and then it's all blocked. Take a look at that once again. Mark Knight in the third. Let's go on board with him. Yeah, they're mega aggressive today. Way more than Daytona. And they wrecked a lot of Daytona too. Had only 11 trucks finish. Let's see what the number is today because it's definitely going to be another low number. Another huge pile up. There's that hit from the 18. Yeah, one more time. We'll go on board with the old one and Nick Celtic. Happy was the first one. He went low into the nine. Thought the nine was gonna come up. It was a good. It was a good idea. But uh, yeah, if he stayed in his lane, might have not crashed. It just caused a huge pile up. There's the one, our Daytona winner. He's involved. Heavy damage. Definitely will not go back to back. So, second caution of the day. Let's take you back to the restart. Alright, here we go. So, 23 trucks left out on the racetrack. The four is a lap down. So far, the only lap truck on the racetrack. Here we go. Getting ready for the restart.
Here we go. Green flag is out. Back underway. And now it's that line has a slight advantage. Not a three with a huge, huge jump off the start. Oh, a little too much there. I wonder if I can import the cam file from uh, an old Atlanta. Because I think the spectator cam is the same. The 07, whoa, on two wheels, both of them. And on pit road, but the 88 spins. Will that trigger a yellow? He's on the apron of the racetrack. No yellow. Wait, no, it is a yellow, is it? Yes, yes, it is. It is a yellow. Okay, for a second, I thought they weren't going to throw it. Monster speeds here. 202. Pretty sure they don't go that fast. But here comes 62, Cole Sampson. He'll take the caution flag. Alright, let's take a look at the replay. Alright, take a look here. Bouchard in the 07, the 88. Of, uh, who's in the 88? Michael Brown. Pushing hard. Again, down on the apron. Look at them. Those two are on two wheels for a moment. And then Bouchard came down pit road. The 88 rams the back of the 07. Hits him again. And he ends up spinning out. And I didn't think this was going to trigger yellow. I thought they were going to be a little bit more lenient on that. But uh, they did it anyways. Just for a single truck spin, and look at this. That's crazy. Uh, sometimes you just gotta love the AI physics. Got some special physics. But yeah, simple spin for a third caution. I thought it was gonna be another wreck, but no, just a weird situation, I guess. All right, we'll take you back to the restart. All right, uh, coming to the green here. So, still uh, 23 trucks. The 07 is now a lap down. All the way at the back. Really, you should get that EXT file, but I forgot where it is. Where you can um, give uh, drivers laps back. I gotta look into that. Hopefully, it doesn't screw anything up. Because I had to do some stuff to get this to work on the Windows 10. Couldn't use my disk for some reason, so I had to do it the other way. But anyways, here we go, getting ready for the restart here. Samson on the 62, going to lead us to the green. The 77 on the outside. Here we go. Green flag's out, back underway. Oh, this time the outside line didn't get a mega jump. And F4 is really, really slow on the start. Oh, 51, I believe. Scrape on the wall there in 1 and 2. No further incident. We're good. Sixteen looking low. I want to give some space. At the line, the 49. Takes a lap. He'll earn that point. Dope. Oh, a little jam up there. And the 3 and the 13 also on the apron. Oh, the leader, 2. I didn't think they'll be this aggressive and hard. 1.1 is usually what is run for the drafting distance. But man, they are just on each other. Hopefully don't accidentally get any speeding penalties as the 12 and the 13 are now in the wall. I do should have tested this track a little bit. Although it is better than the other one. The other Atlanta we had was kind of slow. And for some reason we had drivers checking up. Coming through the uh, quad oval. Got a double dog leg. Yeah that was, uh, that was kind of annoying. And the low line didn't work either. But uh, this is, these are simple fix. So next time we come here, we know what to expect. We know what to do. So, so far, longest screen flag run. Which is good. Get some racing in, but still 
Close calls all around. Yeah, that uh, that's going to be an issue, isn't it? So the 16 of Muhammad Zayn is the leader. Carson Manning second, David Davis in third, Johnson fourth, Flora Johnson in fifth. That is the current top five. Two Toyotas, one Ford, two Chevys. No Dodges in the top five. Don't think they have any in the top ten either. I could be wrong. Could be the eight. Actually, no, the eighty. I was about to say. So Ryan Pitcher is in the seventh at the moment. Here comes the nineteen. Carson Manning. Lead change here. So the 88 in 5th place after spinning out causing the last caution. But in quick recovery and he's back in the fight. Here's a 3. David Davison to the front once again. Seventy seven looking low. I can hear the catch up to the 4. There he is. They're gonna swallow him up. Dude. And it's going to be the low line on the high side. Whoa, watch out. You're not clear. The 11. The 3 making a daring move. The 80 car also held up. The 07 as well. Oh, and the leader almost wrecked. Comes the 88 to the low side. Not a slow car. It's a 24 Cowboyton. Yeah, careful. All right, top three got through. The rest are held up. The 11 in second, 77 in third. 19's caught back up. Pitcher now in fifth. The three to 16 bit far behind. Got a few other guys in the mix. Rodriguez, Sampson, Cole Colby. Now in the pack. And they're slowly closing in, but will it be enough time? Carson Manning now to the top spot. Side by side here, once again on the back straightaway. Pitcher in the 80, gonna go to the outside line. Here come more. Not a slow car as well. Three wide, three wide. It is the nine of Parker Smith. Pitcher a little too high, way too high in the wall. The 16 of Muhammad Zayn is the leader to 13 in behind. Low line will be the way to go. Can he squeeze through the middle? I think you can, but 77 playing it a bit too safe. 19's held up. Three laps to go here. All right, they're spread out once more, but we got some new players at the front. Hopefully no more lap cars in the way or lap trucks as the 13 nearly gets turned by the 3 at Davison. Get back to respect there to Cam here. Two to go here, two laps to go. Three wide for the lead, the 13 on the outside with some help. He'll nab the lead for a bit, the 77. Kenny Johnson, Cole Colby in the 12. On the inside. Whoa, trouble, whoa, the 88 gets hit. They managed to save it, white flag, one more lap to go. Oh, I'm glad they saved it because I don't think I'll be able to tick the box in time and this race will end under yellow. Here's Colby, the 16 of Zane right on the back bumper. Little push, too hard of a push. They nearly wrecked. Here comes a three now on the inside. 
Can they catch up? Side by side, they might. Coming to the checkered flag. It'll be either Davison or Johnson. Here they come. Photo finish. And I think Johnson, yes. Kenny Johnson able to nab that one. Another close finish. And this was even closer. Two one hundredths of a second this time. Well, Johnson got a good run on the outside line. I thought Davison was going to have him beat. With uh, the 12 and the 16 nearly wrecking, kind of clear the way for those two to duke it out. Wow, two straight finishes. Not quite in the thousands, but still pretty close. All right, let's take a look at the full race results. So there you have it. Kenny Johnson, the winner. And uh, Davison almost took that one away at the end. Rodriguez third, Manning fourth, Sampson fifth, Colby sixth, Flora Johnson seventh, Hamazane eighth, Ryan Pritchard ninth, Blazy Batar tenth. 23 trucks finished tonight's or today's race, 18 of them on the lead lap. Here is the rest of the race results. And wow, I'm surprised. Three cautions in the first half, you could say. And then it was just, well, not, I wouldn't say clean, but it was green for the rest of the way, for the second half, you could say. So, very close finish. Once again, Johnson, the race winner. Looks like the three had it, but then the 77 just got a little bit more grip, possibly, coming out of the first dog leg and was able to take the three. Now, these guys were coming in hot, but they were just a little too far back to make anything happen. Now let's just go back to the back straightaway, take a look at the 12 and the 16. It will, probably would have been down to these two if they weren't too aggressive. So yep, they got together, but they didn't get that speed boost. So that dropped them back, and that opened the door for the three to make a move to the inside. But with no help from behind, wasn't able to take advantage, full advantage of that. But still top two, got second, probably would have finished either just outside of top five or probably would have still gotten fifth, maybe, if those two didn't get together. But they did and gave him a shot to win. But Johnson was able to hang on and take it and they almost came and uh, lap Brad Cheston there at the end. So luckily there wasn't an extra lap for the leaders at least. But anyways, there you have it here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Kenny Johnson, the race winner today. Let's take you to Victory Lane.